वेलकम टू द थर्ड लेक्चर ऑफ वीक वन विच इज ऑन डिजाइन ऑफ थिकनर दिस इफ यू रिमेंबर दिस हियर वी आर कंसिडरिंग वन सेशन वेयर लेक्चर टू एंड थ्री आर क्लब्ड इन लेक्चर टू वी हैव डिस्कस द वी हैव डिफाइन द सेडिमेंटेशन सी वी हैव सीन इट्स एप्लीकेशन एंड वी हैव डिराइव द इक्वेशन टू कैलकुलेट द क्रॉस सेक्शनल एरिया ऑफ द थिकनर नाउ इन दिस पर्टिकुलर सेक्शन वी विल स्टार्ट द कैलकुलेशन ऑफ हाइट ऑफ द थिकनर सो टू डिटरमाइन हाइट और डेप्थ ऑफ द सेडिमेंटर इनिशियली डेप्थ ऑफ द कंप्रेशन जोन विद इन रिटेंशन टाइम टी डी माइनस टी सी शुड बी फाउंड नाउ हियर इफ यू कंसिडर दिस टी डी एज वेल एज टी सी वॉट इज टी डी इज द इफ यू रिमेंबर डी वी हैव डिनोटेड फॉर द अंडर फ्लो सो टाइम एट विच द कॉन्सेंट्रेशन ऑफ अंडर फ्लो दैट इज सी डी इज ऑप्टेन्ड दैट टाइम इज कॉल्ड एज TD. Now, what is TC? Is the critical sedimentation time, which we have defined as where layer two layers will be, uh, only two layer uh, will appear. Uh, that is clear uh, liquid as well as the compression zone. Clear liquid zone as well as compression zone. So, uh, TD is the time required to attain the desired concentration in the underflow where when CL equal to CD at T equal to TD. TC is a critical time when all solid enters to the compression zone. Therefore, the volume of the solid in the compression zone at time t equal to TC and after will be equal to the total volume of the solids fed. Thus, the volume of the compression zone within the retention time is volume of the compression zone is volume of the solid plus volume of the liquid available in the compression zone so how uh, we can correlate this is q volume of the solid is q by rho td minus tc what is td minus tc is the uh, that we have seen the total time from critical to final co um, uh, concentration achieved and q is the total feed because all solids are entered into the compression zone therefore we have considered total q by row so that is nothing but the volume of the solid and that is uh, multiplied with time because q is containing the time factor also plus q integration tc to td 1 by cl minus 1 by rho into dt now what is this particular section uh, q is the total volume total uh, mass flow rate of the feed 1 by cl uh, minus 1 by rho now if we multiply this by cl so this would become 1 and minus cl by rho now this cl by rho is basically the concentration of solid divided by the density of solid so that is nothing but the fraction of solid available in the compression zone so 1 minus uh, that uh, fraction of solid is available is equal to the fraction of liquid available in the compression zone so that we have multiplied with q and dt after resolving this we can find this particular equation resolving this we can get get q tc by td 1 by rho plus 1 by cl minus 1 by rho dt 1 by rho will be cancel out so final equation will would be q uh, integration from tc to td 1 by cl td now this particular equation it can be solved graphically or numerically if tc is known so as i already know the td value i can uh, calculate td value because i know the final concentration but i do not know the tc value so how tc will be calculated it will be calculated by the method proposed by robert so this method shows the rate of settling in the compression zone is essentially linear with respect to time so the expression should be dh by dt equal to minus k h minus h infinity h infinity why we have considered because that is the final height of the compression zone and h is the variable height uh, uh, of the compression zone so here we have this uh, expression uh, after integration integrating this so h minus h infinity by h not minus h in infinity log of this would be equal to minus k t where 
h and h naught is the height of compression zone at time t and at infinity infinite time that is the final height of the constant compression zone. So, once we draw this h minus h infinity uh, by h naught minus h infinity versus t in semi log graph paper from the slope we can find the k value. So, this type of curve will appear and here we you see at uh, y axis would be semi log and uh, x axis will be the normal graph. So, how we calculate the value of T c is the time corresponding to y which is equal to 1 plus y dash by 2 gives the critical sedimentation time. Now, what is y dash? y dash is as this particular section is almost linear as time passes it is almost linear. So, that is the compression zone line when we extend this it will cut over here that would be nothing but the y dash. So, 1 plus y dash by 2 somewhere it will lie over here and when we uh, uh, see the va corresponding value of uh, time uh, the value we can see as T c. So, this is the Roberts method, method to calculate the critical sedimentation time. Now, if value of h infinity is not known from experiment, it can be calculated by trial and error. Usually, h infinity we find through batch sedimentation test, but if it is not available, we have to go for trial and error. What, what we have to do in this case? We have to assume h infinity and plot log h minus h infinity divided by h naught minus h infinity versus time. If bottom portion of the curve is linear, then assumed value of h infinity is correct. Otherwise, we have to take the new value of h infinity and find draw the uh, this uh, semi log uh, um, graph uh, and observe the tail of this that should be linear. If it is uh, uh, when it will come to the linear, we have to consider that h infinity value as correct value. So, once h infinity is known, the height of compression zone is calculated as hc which is equal to vc by ar that is the volumetric uh, volume of the compression zone divided by cross sectional area. So, corrected height of the tank is hc dash that is uh, which is equal to hc into 1.75, 1.75 is the correction factor. Here we have to uh, calculate the total height of the thickener that is hc dash plus alloyance. Alloyance for what? The clear liquid zone plus feed zone plus transition zone plus pitch of the bottom plus storage capacity to cover interruption or irregularity in discharge. So, considering all these factor we have to calculate the height of the column, height of the sedimenter. And these co values are shown over here which some of the values are in range and other values are a specific value. So, adding all these to h c dash we can calculate total height of the sedimenter. Now, here we have uh, illustrated design of thickener through an example. Here a slurry consists of 2 percent by weight of solid which having which is having a specific gravity 2.5 is to be clarified by continuous sedimentation. Feed to the clarifier is 5000 meter cube per day. The underflow contains 10 percent solid. For this system, we have to design the thickener. Now, for this system, the batch sedimentation test data is available in this table. You can see here we have time as well as height of interface. Sim this data is available to us. Now, as far as solution is concerned, this is the uh, final equation we have to uh, find. Now, what is the purpose of this equation? We have to calculate AR that is the cross sectional area of the tank through which we can calculate the diameter. So, here we have to calculate X, CL and CD. As final concentration is uh, 10 percent uh, like uh, underflow has 10 percent solid. So, final concentration we can calculate as if 10 percent solid is available obviously 90 percent water will be available. So, 10 divided by 10 by 2 five zero zero plus ninety by one thousand. So considering this we can calculate C D as one zero six point three eight. Feet contains two percent by weight of solid. So from here we can calculate C F that is 2 percent if solid is available 98 percent would be liquid. So, considering this expression 20.2429 would be the concentration of feed. 
Now using batch sedimentation data we can draw this graph uh, here y axis is basically h and uh, x axis is the time value. Now for example, at uh, some point we have to draw the uh, uh, tangent. So, to for that purpose, if I am considering value 50 at t equal to 50 minute, tangent to the curve has the slope, this tangent has the slope 0 0.00092 uh, and it cuts the y axis at h equal to 8 centimeter. Therefore, the parameter should be at t equal to 50 x that is the sedimentation rate which is equal to 0 0.00092 meter per minute and h i in that case would be 8. So, you can see the expression to calc how to calculate C l is h i C l equal to C a h naught this was the expression. So, for this particular case we can calculate C l uh, C l a as 101.21 5 kg per meter cube. Now, we have to extract the data for uh, different sedimentation rate as well as CL so that we can draw the pl plot of LCL by AR. So, to draw this we have considered different time over here. Let us say at 50 velocity is 0 0.00092 and here you can see this velocity we can have uh, we have represented x which is equal to dz by dt basically it should be dh by dt. So, that is the correction over here. So, at t equal to 50 velocity is 0 0.00092 hi is 8 and cl is this this will value we have already seen similarly at t equal to 35 the value we have obtained and similarly t equal to 20, 15, 10, 7 and 5. So, we can find the values of the values at different uh, point. So, once we have this value x as well as cl value, we can calculate lcl by a. So, here in this uh, uh, slide, we have the value of uh, x as well as cl and uh, we can calculate lcl by a, uh, lcl by a r. So, here we have the graph. And if you remember the value of LCL by AR should be equal to x divided by 1 by CL minus 1 by CD. CD is fixed and CL and x are varying. So, based on that we can calculate LCL by AR. So, drawing this we can find the minimum possible value and that minimum possible value we can find as at um, x equal to 0 0.003 which is 0 0.328767. So, once we have this minimum value we can calculate area corresponding to this, but before that we have to find the Q value and Q is the feed rate to the slurry. The slurry was fed as 5000 uh, meter cube per day. So, that is 5000 into 20.2429 uh, that is CF value. Uh, so, divide by 24 into 60. So, total feed rate we have found as 70.28. 78 kg per minute. So, cross sectional area we can calculate as 213 diameter of this is 16.5 meter. Now, adding the safety factor uh, SF1 1.1 and SF2 1.3 we have taken because uh, diameter is lying from between 4.5 to 35 meter. Therefore, actual uh, area should be 305.7 and corresponding to this we can we have to calculate actual diameter of the tank. So, to design of uh, height of the uh, tank we have to take the value of h naught as well as h infinity and that you can see from the batch sedimentation test. Uh, for h naught we have 40 centimeter value and uh, uh, h infinity in this uh, example is 1.7 centimeter. So, following this we can calculate value of h minus h infinity divided by h naught minus h infinity at different time. So, uh, once we calculate this value, we can draw the semi log graph where y axis is semi uh, y axis is log and x axis is uh, um, normal axis. So, once we have this graph, we have to extend this line to calculate uh, uh, T c value that is critical sedimentation time. So, we have extended this up to here. So, that is the value of y dash. So, how we calculate the y is equal to 1 plus y dash by 2 and that will be 0 0.45 1 uh, 0 0.5415. So, this value will lie somewhere here 
and the corresponding value of t we can see from this that should be the tc value and this tc value is coming as 7 minutes so critical sedimentation time uh, is the 7 minute so at t equal to 50 minute cl is 101.2146 that you can see from the table where time as well as CL values are available corresponding to T50 we have value 101.2146 that would be close to the CD value which is around 106 so though it differs but it is close to that therefore we can consider TD as 50 minute once the value of TD and TC are known VC can be evaluated as this is the expression Further CL we can write as CL H0 by HI after uh, uh, putting these values uh, HI value we can put uh, over here which is uh, uh, nothing but the HL plus DH by DT into T. So VC we can find by this expression after uh, replacing Q with A C A uh, we have this A by H0 divided by 2 HL DT HL uh, we, we have available over here into DT plus HC TC minus HD TD. So here you see uh, the uh, this expression we can uh, write in this way. So this is the final expression for volume of the compression zone. Now this uh, DH by DT that we have replaced with HC TC minus HD TD because whole we have to integrate with the TC to TD so this final expression we can uh, find uh, to calculate this we have to see the value of this and for this we have to draw H and T graph which is found through batch sedimentation test so here we have two value TD and TC if time T equal to TC that is the critical sedimentation time equal to 7 minute we have calculated in the previous slide HC should be equal to 22 centimeter and similarly T equal to TD equal to 50 minute TD should be 3.7 centimeter. So area under this curve we have to calculate and this area would, would, would be equal to value of this. So value of this uh, area is 365.75 centimeter minute and A we can calculate as uh, that is the volumetric flow of feed that we can calculate 5000 by 24 into 60. So this is uh, 3.47 meter cube per minute. From the previous expression we can calculate value of VC. So height of the compression zone that is VC by AR that we have calculated as 0.182. The height of the tank now is uh, 1.75 height of compression zone plus allowance. So here we have different factors for different zones. So considering all these factors, we can calculate total height of the column as uh, 2.62 meter. So you can see the here uh, in this way we can solve the problem. We can design the sedimenter to calculate this uh, diameter and uh, height of the tank height of the sedimenter. So here we have the summary of the lecture and this summary includes the uh, summary of lecture 2 and 3 of week 1 which includes the topic sedimentation as well as design of thickness. So the summary of uh, lecture 2 and 3 is sedimentation along with its application is discussed, batch and continuous sedimentation is described. Procedure of design of sedimenter that is thickener is discussed and illustrated with an example. So this is the uh, summary and here we have the references few books which uh, I have referred to for this lecture 2 and 3 and that is all for now. Thank you.